Before the survey begins, I would like to address something. The very first thing I'm going to address is that whatever I say in this review does not take away from the fact that this was a heroic battle, truly. I'm not being sarcastic here. I am not discrediting any of the work and any of the courage that it took to actually fight this battle. It's a significant battle. But I'm not trying to put the uh, real events down. I will put down the movie, but I'm not going to put the real events down. They're real things. Real people died. These are real people in the movie. And that out of the way, let's talk about um, the war classic of 2019. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. Dollar, dollar. Dollar, dollar. Midway, I love Roland Emmerich so much. That is so sarcastic. So Midway is a film that's... I've had my share of World War II movies this weekend. I saw Jojo Rabbit last night, and I was seeing this. And essentially this film... It's about the Battle of Midway. Battle of Midway, big turning point in the world in World War II. After Pearl Harbor was bombed, some stuff had been between, and we eventually fought them off. I don't want to explain the entire thing. We fought them off at Midway, and after we fought them off at Midway, we basically had the war on our side, and we actually weren't very good people in that war because we did va vaporize like thousands of people. But no, we're apparently amazing people according to this movie. Um. I do not like Roland Emmerich at all. I think he's a really bad director. Personally, I, ha I haven't seen every film he's ever made, but the best movie I've seen from him is Independence Day, which isn't very good. Independence Day is good, but really forgettable. But the other films I've seen from him are, are Resurgence and 2012, and I absolutely hate both of those movies. So you can expect on that standpoint, I went to this one with really low expectations. Also, I hated the trailers for this movie. They were pretty bad trailers. Honestly, just everything was going against this movie because... I just went in thinking, I'm going to hate this movie. The trailers were really dumb. The dialogue looked really dumb. The plot looked dumb. Just the whole cliche. It just looked really terrible to me. I just went into this one with super low expectations. And I, and I sat through two hours and 20 minutes of this. Right, let's get the positives out of the way because I'm going to give a lot of negatives. First thing I'm going to say is I liked Woody Harrelson in this film. I always like him in films. He'll all, he's always constantly enjoyable. In this film, it's more noticeable because he's, like, like the only good character. But I, I enjoyed him when he was on screen more than the other characters. Other, all the other characters are boring or really angry. I hated the main character. He's such a cocky asshole. He's, like, never likable once. Like, he never shows, like... I just hated his character. He's such a jerk to everybody. He was so dislikable. He was just an asshole, to be honest. He seemed like the, pro, he seemed like the antagonist in a film like this. But nope, he's the protagonist. He's so hateable. Also, I'll let me get it out of the way. Um, this movie sucks. It's so bad. Th that's all my positives. I liked the character, and there are some cool visuals in it. But other than that, this movie sucks, and this movie pissed me off. Because overall, I hate the way this event is depicted. I hate it when we take a true story and we depict it like this. Like, the actual midway battle was not explosions and one-liners and, oh, I gotta get back to my wife and daughter. It wasn't that at all. It's so much different than that. For some reason, war films think that's the way you have to depict it, but it isn't. Like, I love Dunkirk because it's so accurate. It's so really what would happen. And you know what's interesting? Is that this movie... It, it, like, the action in this movie is just explosions. It's nothing. There's no substance to the action. There's no choreography. It's just boom, boom, explosion, plane, machine gun, ba da 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 explode, boom, boom, boom. And it's so obnoxious. I, 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 just, at the beginning of the film, I was like, God, this action is so annoying. By the end of the film, I didn't even notice it because there was so much of it. I was so bored by the action. Also, this movie is really freaking boring. Like... I actually, to be honest, I only understood what happened in the film because I actually know the events of Midway. Because I learned about them earlier this year in school. And it's actually a really interesting event. Like, it's a really interesting point in the war. But this film doesn't know how to pick that at all. It just it gives information on the screen. Just characters saying random crap that you only understand if you know what they're talking about. I know what they're talking about, so I understood what was going on. But actually, a couple scenes this film, I thought, why is this in the movie? What is going on? Why? And also, jeez, I hate one. Th I, I hate a lot about this movie. But one thing that just 
made me mad. I just really hate this. Was the depiction of the Japanese? We this film depicts them as sometimes evil villains. And yes, the Japanese leader, the emperor, was a horrible evil villain. But if you really look at it, and I know what I'm talking about here, don't give me the crap of, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. No, I know what I'm talking about. That emperor ruled the entire, the emperor ruled the entire country, and the only reason Japan was insane is because of him. So, the entire film depicts the Japanese in these dark rooms, like these evil villains, like, ooh, we're planning out a plan to kill them. But to be honest, we weren't all that much better. Like, Japan was horrible. They were awful. They killed thousands of people. But also, we dropped two uh, nuclear bombs on their towns. We weren't good either. They weren't good either. So stop depicting us as completely pure people. At least in World War II. Nowadays, we're not pure. Nobody's pure nowadays. But in, 19, in the 1940s in World War II, we weren't pure. They weren't pure. We were awful to them. We were, they were awful to us. Us? Please stop depicting it like we were pure great people and they were horrible evil villains. And the film doesn't even 100% depict the Japanese like that, which I respect, but also is really inconsistent. Like towards the end of this film, there's a random scene where they try and make you feel for the Japanese and it totally detracts from the tone the film's going for. Because I think the depiction of the Japanese as evil people is really offensive and awful, but... It's not nearly, but it's annoying when you go back on that at the end because it completely ruins me thinking yay for the characters. I was not really thinking yay for the characters because I didn't like a single one of them. But after the end, it's like, yeah, you're thinking yay for the characters. And then you see the effect that they did on the villains. That's like at the end of Avengers Endgame. Or at least, I don't know, I'm not going to use it because it doesn't really work. Just some action movie showing the villain and their leaders being super depressed and sad. And like having this horrible event that you're gonna like, by somebody that's emotional enough will cry at. Now you're crying for the villains, but you're supposed to be rooting for the heroes. And this is one of those films where you're absolutely supposed to be rooting for the heroes. This isn't one of those films where it's like, oh, you could switch to the bad guys. No, 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 this movie is guaranteeing you will root for America, but, it's, but it makes you sympathize with Japan, which makes no sense and it totally detracts the entire film. Also, this movie does way too much. There is way too much that happens in this film. Because perfectly honest, I think they thought, let's make a film about Midway, the turning point in World War II. That was really dumb. That was kind of weird. But the point is, is that they just thought, let's make a Midway film. It'll be patriotic. People who are patriotic will go see it and we'll give a freaking million dollars. We'll get millions and millions. We'll get like a billion dollars. I don't know. And then they were writing the scripts and they're like, shoot, there's nothing to write about. Because to be perfectly honest, Midway on its own isn't really all that interesting. We basically just tricked Japan into telling us that Midway was the island they were planning a secret attack on. And then we real quickly attacked them and then we turned the war. The point is, the, the thing that's significant about this battle is that we turned the war on them. However... This film could have gone two ways. One, it could have been a long, like, two-hour, very slow-paced, drawn-out, really gritty, amazingly well-made film that starts the beginning of the Midway Battle and ends at the end, like Dunkirk. But no, this film opens before Pearl Harbor, which is years before Midway. Not, like, a decade before, but, like, months before. I don't know if it's years, to be honest. I don't know the exact dates. But months before we had hit Midway, or the whole Midway Battle happened, Pearl Harbor happened. It kind of started it all. This is not, this This is called Midway. It's not called Japan versus America 19, in the 1940s, which by the end of the day, you'd watch that film and you'd think, at the end, America's kind of the villain. No, 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 no. This film is about, like, it starts with World, it starts with Pearl Harbor with a really badly depicted scene of Pearl Harbor, just explosions, or like, per, like Michael Bay's Pearl Harbor. And then it continues to go on, more battle, more battle, and then and like an hour and a half through, you finally hit Midway. And just to be clear, I've heard some people say that once it hits Midway, it becomes super thrilling and entertaining. I completely disagree, because this movie's so boring that by the time Midway, the actual battle hit, I was out of the film, bored out of my mind, I didn't care. I was like, basically, I, at the end of the film, I was like, I'm just sitting here now, I really want to leave. I, I did not need to pay attention for the last half of this film because it's just explosions everywhere and them trying to make it another hour long, but they can't because there's not enough history to depict. So what do they do? They go f backwards in time for the beginning of the film because they don't have, have anything else to do. And just to be clear, 
Whenever it's walking around and talking, it is so unbelievably boring. Because all they're doing is spitting exposition. Why should I care about the exposition if I don't like the characters? Why should I care? Because it was a real event, I guess? The reason why I care if it's a real event is because usually when it's depicted in a history class, we're depicting it, they're talking about it as a real event. But this film is banking on it that you care about the characters, and you, do, well, you don't care about the characters, because there's no setup, there's no development, they're, they're absolute jerks. So this whole thing doesn't make any sense. <sighs> I'd also may say another problem with the talking scenes, it's not a single good line in this film. There, there, here are a couple lines that are actually in the film. Guy gets a call during Pearl Harbor. What is it? Japan's attacking us. That's an actual line that went through a lot of... That line went through a lot of people for it to actually hit the big screen. Another line, this is only in the trailer, is... They're saying, alright, we believe that the target is Midway. Washington disagrees. Man actually said, this is in the trailer only, so I don't know if I can count it. He says, Washington is wrong, sir. Which is, I had laughing when I saw that in the trailer. Um, another line, guys going down on battleship or on aircraft Jap Japanese aircraft carrier he has a bomb ready he says this is for Pearl Harbor and he drops it and boom just a gigantic explosion because that's exa and then as he's flying away he's barely making he's like ah yeah you've seen it a million times and he has this picture of his wife and daughter there it's shaking really rapidly he's chewing gum you've seen it a million times as you can tell I could not take this movie it was boring confused messy bloated dull i just couldn't stand this movie i wanted to leave the entire time don't see it it's pretty garbage there are some nice visuals and there are some likable characters or like one likable character but other than that frick this movie i'm giving midway a two that's on the border i can give it a one maybe it'll go to a one one day I, it won't because i'm gonna forget about this movie in like a day but i hated this movie frick you rolling emmerich um, I'm happy. I'm, I, I want, I'm done seeing crap, guys. I'm really annoyed with how many bad movies I'm getting recently. I mean, I got Jojo Rabbit, which is great. But, ne but then the next couple, this is like the end of Terrible. Then I have, like, Ford v. Ferrari, Knives Out, and Beautiful Day. So I'm happy after that. But yeah, this is the last time you hear me yell in a review for a while. I don't have anything else to say. This movie sucks. Bye.